Hi, welcome to Peril Panda Core. To register your account, go to app2.peralpanda.my and click on Sign Up Today. Enter your details and create your account. Once created, go to Settings, Company Settings to first enter your company details, including company name and address, as well as your company numbers required for submission of your statutory contributions. If you have registered with HRDF, enter the rate you need to pay and the category you registered under. Enter your bank details if Peropana generates bulk payment files for your bank for your salary and statutory payments. Under the Locations and Schedules pages, you can create different locations and schedules to assign your employees for easy filtering and payroll calculations. Then, go to Payroll Settings to set the different bases for your payroll calculations. Under Payments, you can set a cutoff date. For example, if in January payroll you want to pay employees' salary from the 26th of December to 25th of January, select 25 as your cycle end date and assign the payroll month to the month the cycle ends. This means the cycle ends on 25th January and so your payroll month will be January. If you want to pay employees based on calendar month, simply select last day as your cycle end date. Next, go to policies and click on add. Select the basis for salary proration. That is, when an employee joins or leaves your company partway through the month, as well as the basis for overtime, leave pay, and unpaid leave calculations. The basis for salary proration and unpaid leave under the Employment Act amendments enforced from 2023 should be calendar days. For overtime basis, you can select one basis for employees who are not automatically entitled to overtime under the Employment Act and an alternative basis for employees with salaries up to 4,000 ringgit who must be paid at a minimum rate based on 26 fixed days. Leave pay basis for employees leaving the company should also be paid at a minimum daily rate based on 26 fixed days for all employees. You can create more than one policy if you want to set different calculation bases for different employees. Under the Payroll Items tab, you can view the settings of all preset payroll items. For example, bonus will be subjected to PCB and EPF, but not SOXO and EIS. You can choose to disable any item you are not using on a regular basis so they do not appear in the list of items when you add payroll items into your payroll or employee's profile. You can also create your own custom payroll items and select your preferred settings. Under the Integrations tab, you can connect with other software like accounting softwares to sync your payroll data into your accounts, as well as leave an attendance software like Jubal to sync your employees' working hours and unpaid leave into your payroll. Next, go to Employees and you can create departments to assign employees under their department tab. To add your employee data, go to the Employees tab. You can import all your employees by downloading our template and entering your employees' details. Then save as a CSV file and upload the file to create all your employees' profiles. You also have the ability to bulk edit employee data and bulk upload employees' previous payslip data and recurring payroll items. You can also add employees individually. Enter their personal details in the Profile tab. Marital status and dependent children details are important as they will affect the PCB calculation. You should also enter the employee's bank account details if you will be generating our bulk payment files to pay your employees. In the Employment section, you should enter details like joint date and salary. If your employee receives an increment later on, you will be able to enter the new salary and effective date and the new salary will be added to the payroll and prorated based on the effective date. Your employee's statutory information is set automatically based on their nationality and date of birth entered under the Profile section. The statutory settings are also automatically updated once an employee turns 18 or 60 years old. You should also add any recurring payroll items the employee is receiving like monthly allowances, overtime or commissions. If the amount varies, you can leave the amount as zero and update it in your payroll every month. Adding monthly paid items as recurring is important for PCB calculations. Next, you can assign your employees to different departments, locations, 
Schedules or Policies under the Group tab. Under the Payrolls tab, you can use previous pasted data from your company for the current year if you started using Payroll Panda during the year to ensure accurate PCB calculations and complete E and EA forms. The year-to-date data for later months will be filled automatically when you approve each payroll. You should also add any previous employment payslip data of the current year for any new joiners for accurate PCB calculations. Under the Forms tab, you can generate LSDN forms CP21, CP22, and CP22A for employees joining or leaving your company. You can also generate a TP3 form for employees leaving your company to provide their new employers with their previous employment payslip data. Yearly EA and PCB2 forms can also be downloaded from that tab. To archive an employee, click on the archive icon and enter details like your last day at work and whether their salary should be prorated in their final month based on their last day. Now that you have added your company and employee details, you can proceed to run your payroll. You can log any previous payrolls for months prior to you running your payroll with Payroll Panda to avoid accidentally approving those payrolls and changing the previous payslip data you entered for those months in the employee's profiles. When you run your payroll, all contributions are automatically calculated in the payroll table. You can view the full PCB calculation by clicking on the PCB amount for each employee. You can also use the filters if you want to view the payroll table for employees based on location or department or other filters. To add an additional payroll item like a bonus to your payroll, you can do so for each employee individually by clicking on the pencil icon for the employee, or you can add one item to multiple employees using the Add Payroll Item button. If you need to enter many different additional items, or to add commission amounts or overtime hours to your payroll, simply download the bulk payroll template and fill in all your payments for the current payroll before uploading again. Your payroll will be automatically updated and you can proceed to check and approve it. Once approved, you can download your bulk payment files or upload to your bank or statutory portals. And individual payments, you can choose to download payment files for selected employees or payroll items which you want to pay separately. You can also download or email your employees' payslips. You can generate your yearly E and EA forms under the Forms tab, as well as LHDN audit files should LHDN perform a PCB audit of your company. Under the Reports tab, you can generate payroll reports for selected periods based on location, departments, or other filters. If you have any questions regarding how to use Payroll Panda or regarding your payroll calculations, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team via the chat icon at the bottom right of your account, and we will assist you within minutes. Thanks for watching. Bye!